Hey guys, it's Daisy Dennis, and I'm gonna do a doll makeup tutorial for Halloween. Ooh. All right, so I'm gonna take a flat brush here, and I'm gonna start by using Too Faced primer. Any primer is gonna do. I'm just gonna blend it evenly around the eye. So I'm gonna take some highlight shimmer from Mac, and I'm just gonna blend that on out through the crease. And I'm gonna take a soft pink and do it in the outer corners of her eyes. Now I'm gonna start by using MAC Liquid Liner Pen. And I'm gonna do a wing liner. This is gonna create a porcelain doll effect eye, which is what we're going for here. We're gonna do a creepy doll. So the wing liner is perfect for this look. Lashes, oh lashes. All right guys, so these are lashes. This is number 370 from Mamie's. You guys can trim your lashes if you want for comfort purposes. Uh, try to get it as close to the lash line as you can. All right, so I'm gonna take this White Makeup Forever Cream Palette, which is perfect for Halloween because it comes with, I think, eight different colors and you can do so many different looks. So I'm gonna just kind of go in with this white, shape it around her eye. I took some regular lashes and I put them on the bottom here, underneath the white, as you can see, to create a uh, lower lash. And I'm taking some black from Makeup Forever and just making that bottom liner a little bit darker. All right, so next I'm gonna take a Q-tip and a makeup remover, and I'm gonna clean out any extra fallout, so any black liner, eyeshadow that's fallen under her eye and I'm just gonna clean it up nicely with this Q-tip here. So I'm gonna take this RCMA cover-up palette and I'm gonna go all around her face and kind of creating a little bit more pale look to make her look more porcelain dollish. Evenly blend this around. If you have a beauty blender, great. If you don't, a sponge is fine. I also contoured her face here. Uh, I have a contouring video, you guys, if you want to go check it out in more depth. Uh, just kind of highlighting her jawline, cheekbones, nose, and forehead area. And next, I'm going to take my Laura Mercier powder, powder up, just to set this cover up. Okay, so after I powdered, I added some Dior blush. Any blush is gonna do, whatever your preference is. I'm gonna take some mascara, and I'm gonna blend her real lash with the fake lash nicely here. And so next, I'm gonna take my MAC liquid liner, and I'm gonna do some black freckles. This part is really easy. Just make sure you don't press too hard and create big of dots. Be very light-handed with this. All right guys, so next I'm gonna take my Brick Mac uh, red pencil here and I'm gonna create a heart-shaped lip. I don't need any lipstick, I want this to be more of a matte look, so I'm just gonna take the pencil and fill in her complete lip with it. Lips can be a little bit difficult, so also be patient, you guys, and take your time to create the perfect lip. Okay, so after you do the top red lip here, uh, we're gonna go back into the Makeup Forever palette and grab the white, the same white that we used under her eyes, and we're gonna do the bottom lip with this. I'm gonna have her keep her mouth open so the cream white palette won't get onto the red, so. Now I'm gonna take my black Makeup Forever cream palette. See, this cream palette comes in handy for everything. And if you guys have not yet watched the Sally tutorial, uh, I also use the Makeup Forever palette on that as well. So check that out on Strawberry 17. So I'm gonna take this black here and I'm just kind of creating her mouth to look bigger than it is. So it's about a half an inch under her lip, as you can see. I'm just gonna darken that with the black here. All right guys, so after you're finished with this black Makeup Forever and coloring it in perfectly, we're gonna go in with the white again. Also, you guys, just be patient with this. You don't want to mix the white and the black together and go really quickly. Just also be very patient with this. All right, guys, to finish it off, I'm going to take the red MAC pencil and do her bottom lip where her chin is. Uh, this is going to create her mouth to look much bigger than it is. Sort of creepy when you start looking at it. All right, guys, so lastly, I'm going to take my angled brush and I'm going to go back into the Makeup Forever palette I'm gonna use black and create teeth where the white is. 
All right, so lastly, I decided that I'm gonna just darken her eyebrows to make it a little bit more dramatic. This is optional. You guys can do it if you guys want. And there you have it, the creepy doll look. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching this makeup tutorial. Make sure to give it a thumbs up. Uh, don't forget to subscribe. And comment below, let me know what you want to see next. Megan and I are going to be shooting Halloween tutorials all month long. So comment below, let us know what you want to see.